But my arms are, I ain't got nothing to do with it. I remember uh, one of the seniors uh, calling me Kunta Kinte. And I would, you know, scream and scream and scream and scream and uh, could never. I never got the courage to tell anybody. When you have a parent who's in the public eye, everything is scrutinized, everything is, uh, you know, watched like it's a microscope. So uh, even the negative things that my father did, you hear about, as in my life, the negative things you hear about, the positive things you don't. person that was taking care of him who became his wife never lived with him but yet was married to him those are things that I wanted to protect know that we were kept away. He was taken advantage of. He said, be real careful where you go and what you say because you have detectives sat out on you. At a very early age, I began questioning who people thought I was because a lot of people said, well, you're little Ricky. But I wasn't little Ricky. In fact, Desi and his older sister, Lucy Arnaz, tried to live a normal life. Normal, that is, if you're a Beverly Hills brat whose best friends included Dean Martin Jr. and Liza Minnelli. But it didn't really happen the way people thought it did. And my parents, Lucy and Desi weren't Lucy Ricardo and Ricky Ricardo. But the walls of the soundstage came tumbling down when Lucy had enough of Desi Sr.'s drinking and womanizing. They were divorced when Desi Jr. was eight. I grew up in a place where the um, material rewards of this world were very evident. But their, their, their inner life, uh, their happiness inwardly, uh, still wasn't um, complete and there were still problems. I got very bored with myself and that false life. We were out on the road at, at 13 years old and 14 and 15 years old and uh, performing with the Beach Boys. They took us under their wing and, and the Papas. The Mamas and Papas wrote the book on sex, drugs, and booze, and they were sordid mentors for the wholesome Dino, Desi, and Billy. Even when I was 15, something happened where I was aware. Was aware. It was when I was playing the drums uh, and I was taking a drug that was uh, very strong. It was some kind of a amphetamine, and, and my muscles actually started to cramp. And this was when I was 15, and I couldn't continue the drum solo. Mama Lucy tried to steady young Desi, making him a co-star with Sister Lucy on the series Here's Lucy. When you're young and, you know, you get high, it doesn't seem like it's really hurting you. But I assure you that uh, eventually it does uh, become very painful, and then it kills you. But it was an illusion, especially for Lucy's real-life son, Desi Arnaz Jr., who lived in the shadow of his fictional life 
And now some say he's living another kind of fiction. The fear of Lucy, as we well know, Lucille Ball at that time was extremely powerful. She was an actress model living in California and under contract to Paramount Pictures. She says she dated Desi regularly for about four years after meeting him on a blind date. They were taping the Here's Lucy show, so um, we, I went with his manager and we went out for dinner later and we said it was, uh, it was love at first sight. And we started dating and the rest is history. 20-year-old Julia Howe is his illegitimate daughter and Lucy's grandchild. That makes her the granddaughter of the late, great Lucille Ball. I do recall Desi coming over to the house when Julie was about two years old. Desi's family kept him away from her after the birth of Julia. My grandparents are and were the great Lucille Ball and the talented Desi Arnaz Sr. And I was very, very proud. I think anybody would have been proud to state that they have grandparents that are on TV. Lucille Ball's first grandchild. My mother was a Ford model back in the 60s. I partied beyond partying, nothing to do with drugs, just really having fun times. Then I met Bill Wyman for the Rolling Stones, and we fell in love. I was uh, three, three and a half years old. I remember distinctly. Mick Taggart and I were tied. He was so fun. He said, Suzanne, go out and pick me the prettiest girl that he wanted to be with, if you know what I mean. <laughs> There's a whole mob of, of groupies out there. I just said, okay, I'm going to watch this, and I did. I knew I was pregnant with Julia. Couldn't wait to get back to the States to call her father. Being who he is makes things a little more interesting for me, and for me to see my father on TV, I could see him. He, I want him to see me. Desi Arnaz Jr. Yeah, Julia's father, Baba Louie. It was especially hard to be born into such a legendary family and to just feel as though the sense of belonging that I felt like I belonged, but I just didn't, you know, I just didn't fit in anywhere. Lucille Ball, no way would do that. I'm mean, from bad publicity. Anyway, he was out of my life at that point in time, unfortunately. And luckily, I had the money to conceive Julia and bring Julia up and have her go to the Montessori school system, uh, Catholic schools, and public schools, and whatever. That chapter got ugly. It was horrible. so hard and I just, I just can't imagine, you know, and then I wonder why what I did I really didn't care about it, I think I was actually having a nervous breakdown.